Good morning everyone or afternoon whenever it is that you're watching this. Hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to show you some of our uh, wood pile and other metal and things that we have that we use for you know different projects around the house around the homestead and um, this is one of our bigger piles well it's not really one of our bigger ones but we have um, you can see this Miles has been trying to clean this up over here um, it was just all scattered and mixed in because the kids will get in there and use what they want and build and make things or, or whatever and so he's been trying to clean it up and sort it out a little bit we've got some fences over there and I don't know if I'm going to use those in, a, in the garden or what I want to do with those yet but um, they do come in handy when we need them because we've used we've used that biggest one there before and then the um, there's a couple others I'll show you in just a minute that we just recently used this is a wood pile that we have it used to be a lot bigger we have used a lot of this stuff and uh, it's coming very very handy it is kind of annoying sometimes when we don't need it because I don't it's an eyesore I don't like it being in the yard but when you do need it it's nice to have it and then we've got a bunch of scrap metal I don't even know that's just a whole bunch of mixed stuff right there that we've collected over time and so I don't even know where it all came from or what we're gonna do with it um, you can see we've got some uh, cast iron sinks and I'm trying to see, I think that might be one of the bathtubs way over there. We have, I think, three cast iron bathtubs. There's some sinks over here. Uh, there's some sinks over here. And more sinks over here. I think Miles is starting to collect cast iron sinks and bathtubs. Uh, one thing that, that I do like, it's kind of gross right now, but it's been collecting rainwater. See this powder blue color? This one came out of my grandparents' house that they built in the 70s. And their bathroom, whenever uh, my grandpa died, my grandma had died first, uh, their bathroom was still the original powder blue. It looked nice, but it was definitely dated. But my grandma had good taste, so she had a really nice bathroom that was definitely 70s. We've got some T-posts here for a clothesline, and I don't remember where these came from, but um, they will definitely be put in, put to good use soon. I have some bigger ones in the backyard that also came from my grandparents' house, so I will show you a close-up of those. Those are a lot bigger, so um, I'll show you those in a minute. So we also have these rubber things that come in a, two or three different sizes. Uh, we got them free on Craigslist. Miles just saw them and was like, oh, we could use these for something. So um, we made a couple trips and got got some of those in the back of the Suburban. Um, we did use some of the bigger ones. We put spikes in those holes at the end of our driveway uh, when our dog kept getting out. And we used it kind of as a bumper underneath the gate. And then he couldn't climb under the gate or crawl under the gate, whatever. So uh, that worked well, but that's not what we really... <laughs> Had intended though we only needed like two or three of those for that so um if y'all have any ideas of what we could use these for because i don't want them to go to waste but they don't take up a whole lot of space and they're mostly stacked neatly so it's not a big deal but um let me know if you can think of something so this is the gate that was on the barn it was already here whenever we moved here and it was already falling apart but we just never needed it because we didn't put animals in there another tub over there so this is what I was going to show you we used a couple of those fences that we got from our very first house when we were married back in 1999 but we were there for 12 years we used them here and it is a little bit long still but it works so much better I need to get a rod on this side and then maybe we can move these things but it's it's pretty sturdy hey guys I'm gonna let you out it's pretty sturdy for the most part so it uh, looks like they've been pushing on a little bit, but they can't get out. So it just locks here. And see how easy that opens? So much nicer than that other gate that was falling apart. Good morning, guys. Y'all have a good night.
these Pepsi crate things here. I've seen other people use these too. The the most convenient way I've found to use these so far is planting my seeds. Those will hold 15 cups each. 15 of those little cups. And I'll show you really quick just to just to show you on this video. But you'll if you've seen other videos, um, you'll see some on there. We've got a whole bunch of them. The kids have been playing with them out here. That's why they're kind of scattered. They'll they'll build things with them. I think that's kind of a fort. They've got the middle of it hollowed out. <laughs> But um, if y'all can think of anything else I could use these for, let me know because my mind is drawing a blank. They're plastic, and they are strong enough that you know I've turned them up, I've turned them upside down, and you could sit on them. Um, but you know, obviously we can't <laughs> can't sit on them all the time, and I just can't think of what to what to use them for. They lock together like that when when not in use. But, um, I don't know. I just don't know what to use them for. So if you have any ideas, let me know. The little Pepsi crates in use. They hold 15 cups perfectly. And my seeds are starting to sprout. Yay! No, this thing is completely ugly. But it was totally free. And it's what we had our rabbits in a year ago when we first got them. For a few weeks until we got a better, um, a better pen for them. So we just had to reinforce it. But we used some of our own scraps for that, so it was completely free. These are the two pet carriers that we um, got out of a dumpster dive, and there's absolutely nothing wrong with them. They painted with orange paint on the side of it trash, probably so that nobody could return it and try to get 50 bucks back for it when they didn't buy it in the first place. But um, we're temporarily using them for the rabbits right now. But those are completely free. Dumpster dive. Awesome. So, we're using those. Free. All on the west side of our house. We've got some fence panels and some pallets. Uh, just some, some various scraps of wood. And it's kind of sorted into piles. Um, it's just, I don't even know why we moved it over here. Because <laughs> it's kind of inconvenient to, to put things over here since it's the opposite side of our driveway. But um, we've used a lot of this as well and some pallets. We don't have that many. They're kind of hard to come by for free. Good pallets anyway. We kind of built a little compost bin out there, but we haven't really been using that. I think we're going to figure out something different, but we may still use pallets. We may, may just move it or something. These are the T-posts I was mentioning earlier, and they are big. They're taller than me, really big around. Check that out. That's so big around. Um, we've had birds have nests in there before. It's really cool. Um, and we've got some long line here. Ignore the messy yard. But I think it's probably 30 feet. Maybe No, it's longer than that. Maybe 40 feet. And I can see the kids forgot to do that last load of laundry last night. Uh, we're way behind on that. But anyway, I really love this. It, one of the lines is down right now, and I don't know what's going on with this. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what they're trying to do here, but... Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you the T-posts. They, they came from my grandparents' house, and they're very, very sturdy. But we'll probably still use those other ones eventually, too, because, like I said, that's not nearly enough to be hanging up. We're getting behind on laundry. There's eight of us. We don't have enough line room if, if we do keep the laundry going. So we have a lot of laundry, y'all. I cannot remember where this wire fence came from but I'm pretty sure all of that was free I'm, I don't think we bought that we've had it for a while we're gonna use some of it to repair the fence back here in the corner we did buy the cinder blocks though you watched the video about Daisy having her baby right back here is where she chose to have him and there's the fence line in the very back of our five acres so she was just going off by herself as far as she could, even though Felicity and Jubilee followed her. <laughs> they hung around the whole time. This right here is a fort that my 12-year-old built. I think he started it when he was 10. Uh, he, I know he built another one when he was 10. He may have even started that one at 9, because we've already been here three years, and he's 12. Be 13 later this year, so I'm pretty sure he was 9 when he started the first one. 10 when he started this one he tore the other one down and 
you can still see he needs to clean up some of the mess that was the first one but this one is I would say half of it here is probably three by eight and he built this half first Let's see if I can do this with one hand he gave me a tour of this the other day but I accidentally deleted the photos so I'm gonna have to do this myself because he's still in bed I could wake him up but whatever but he um uh, he designed and built it all himself completely out of scraps 100% free and he's actually slept in here before and um, it's completely rainproof pretty cozy I would think we thought about using it for the goat shelter but it's way in the back of our property so we didn't want to have to come back here like all the all the time <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit of a hike when you're not used to walking it all the time um, through the weeds and uphill a little bit and, I mean it's, it's doable but if you don't have to you know why but anyway he did a great job and he's back here a lot um, and usually he doesn't just come back here to play usually he comes back here to make improvements I'm pretty impressed with his determination to build things and make things better He's always, that's why he tore the first one down and built another one because he wanted a better structure. So he'll probably eventually, I don't know, this one's pretty sturdy. He may add on to it more or, I don't know, he may eventually tear it down and build something new. But he's pretty good at building things. This, um, I guess he needs to learn to tie knots a little better because the top two rungs slid down a little bit. But um, he was using this ladder to get on top. It's a real sturdy roof. And I wanted to point out this paracord here. Now, it's not recycled, but this is some really good paracord, 750 pound tested. Very, very good. I will leave the link to that in the description below because we're going to order another one. We still have some left, but this is some good stuff. So, if you walk around to the back, see if I can back up a little bit, get a better view. There we go. So, you know, nothing nice to look at necessarily but you can kind of tell it's it's really rock solid he put a lot of support in there a lot of the wood came from actually another fort that some friends of ours had and they tore their it was more like a, a playhouse thing and they tore it down and gave us the wood from it so all the corrugated sheet metal I don't even remember where we got that, but that was all free. Everything, everything here is free. And that table, I think he said he wanted to put a new tabletop on that and, you know, make it waterproof, make it weatherproof, and use it outside. So he also wants to learn how to weld, but he's not old enough to go to, like, a Votech yet. So I'm trying to figure that out. But he did a great job, and I can't remember everything that he had said on the video that got deleted but he did a great job on this and I'm looking forward to seeing what he builds next that's it for all the recycled things we have all the project the, <laughs> the projects that we've done from recycled things and uh, I wanted to mention that most of this most of the free things we got are either from my grandparents house or a friend or Craigslist I mean, if you just ask around, <clears throat> excuse me, if you just ask around, look around for it, it's easy to find stuff. I've seen lots of pallets, old tires, I mean, anything you can think of. Those rubber things, I've never seen those before. So, I mean, just look around and you can find all kinds of stuff. So, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you later. Y'all have a good day.